The student-teacher relationship has been central to learning since Socrates and Plato. These early Greek philosophers sought to challenge their students' thinking on a range of life experiences. What is true happiness? Should people care more about doing the right thing or doing things right? To what extent do you shape your own destiny? And how much is down to fate? There are no right answers to questions like these. This means that the questioner and the respondent often need to engage in extensive exchanges where they ask each other questions in order to develop clear understandings of the topic they are discussing. Unfortunately, in many classrooms, teacher and student exchanges are often limited to teachers seeking the correct response to a known answer question, to which students respond, often with minimal elaboration. Finally, the teacher provides feedback in the form of a brief evaluation such as, that's right. These types of exchanges are commonly referred to as IRE. This very common form of interaction tends to be used in classrooms where the teacher controls the channels of communication while the students remain as passive recipients of the information transmitted. In recent times, many teachers have shifted away from this model in response to research on student-centred classrooms. The benefits students derive from being actively involved in their own learning where they learn to ask questions, challenge ideas and make suggestions in an environment that is supportive of these endeavours has been extensively researched and is very well documented. Philosophy for Children is an example of an approach that challenges and disrupts traditional classroom talk dynamics. P4C has been employed with great success at a number of schools and across a variety of age groups. Philosophy for Children, inquiry-based learning, offers a way to open up children's learning through inquiry and the exploration of ideas. Children learn that their ideas have value and that the ideas of other children have value too. Through philosophy for children, they realise that they don't always have to be right, but they gain the confidence to ask questions and learn through discussion.